Good day. Hope all is well. I need to talk to you guys real quick. I'm ticked off right now. Like, I'm really ticked off. And this time has been coming for some... It's been coming for a while now. I'm addressing this video to every pastor, preacher who has a church who is in leadership in a church, the building. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Like, my spirit is so disturbed right now based off of what I just saw on Facebook. I got to say something. God will hold me accountable if I don't say anything. How about he approve me to say something? Now is the time. Play church is over. You need to sit down. How you in church talking about bust a move, bust a move? What do you what do you think? You tone loke? Like, or are you a man of God? Like, what's really... Matter of fact, let me post because I can feel... I'm, I'm not even going to be speaking in English. I can feel it. I apologize. I need to cover my head real quick because... I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Have several seats and stop looking for attention. Stop trying to have that title. When is your time? If you are called, anointed and appointed by the Most High God to preach, to teach his flock, your time will come. You need to sit down and study more to show yourself approved. So you'll be a workman and need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the spirit of truth. Go have several seats. What do you mean bust a move? Bust a move. And everybody's like shine a light on them. Like literally going to each person, shouting them out for them to do a little dance. Like really? Where's the praise and worship? Where's Christ? Where's the Holy Spirit? Like I'm so tired right now. I can't take it no more. The gloves is off. The gloves are off. I'm so serious right now. It's over. Every time God lays it on my heart to get at y'all, I'm getting at y'all. Yes, he's approved me. I don't need your approval. It's my time to speak up, period. The body of Christ is not able to build each other or build the body if everybody's quiet. Everybody's quiet with serious stuff. I mean, with, with um, serious stuff, but everybody got so much to say about petty stuff. Have a seat because you are leading people to hell. Where's the deliverance? Where's the preaching of the word? That's what you should be posting. That's what you should be doing. You should be releasing the word. You should be releasing the scriptures. Not bust a move, bust a move. And everybody breaking out with their little freestyle dance. Are you kidding me right now? When people are dying and going to hell. When people's marriages is, 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 and families is at stake. When people are, need healing and hurt and broken physically, mentally, spiritually. People lost their jobs. People can't pay their rent. People lost loved ones. And you want to talk about bust a move? Nobody can't. Look, church is supposed to be it's a form of an emergency room. You should be able to go to a church, go to God. And hear the word. It's the word that's going to make you free. Okay. Trusting, having in faith and believing in him. I'm tired of y'all. Unseasoned. Zero anointing. Preachers in that freaking pulpit. Playing games with God's sheep. Have a seat. You ain't ready. You're not ready. You are not ready. I can't even believe like I have to go off right now. And it's one something in the morning. And I'm, oh my God, let me, let me lower my voice. I'm so tight right now. This is ridiculous. But you think and act like you're anointed. When you're anointed, it is by his spirit that people are drawn. It is by his spirit that people are saved. It is by his spirit that people are saved, sanctified, and delivered, and set free. It is by his spirit. Not you hyping up the congregation like you in a club. Were you a DJ? Were you, you need deliverance. Like if you was a DJ in a club, because that's what it sounds like to me. You need deliverance. And I'm posting this on my Facebook page. Because you are a friend on my Facebook page. You actually tried to get at me and literally tried to start a conversation with me at one time of another. And I forgave you and I forgive you and I prayed for you in your empty church. Because it's empty. 
If your church is not growing, maybe you miss God. Humble yourself. Have a seat. You are not ready at all. You and everybody else that's in these pulpits playing church. This goes for the whole body. All of your foolery with mixing truth with lies. Listen, people, study to show yourself approved. You have to study that word. It's, it's even, listen, God is even telling us in his word to study to show ourselves approved. Study to show yourself approved and, and you know the word for yourself so that when you walk up in that church and they preach it to you, you'll know if they're preaching from the Bible or not. Stop going based off of your mother was saved, your grandmother was saved. You ain't getting in heaven off of the seeds that they sown and them fulfilling the will of God for their lives. Have a seat. Have a seat. Seriously. Because trust me, it's a lot of blood on your hands. You're in the pulpit. You are in leadership. You are misleading God's flock. You misleading his sheep. While you're playing church. Play church is over. Knock it off. I'm going to be calling you out. Like I'm going to, and I'm not just saying that like it's a whole spirit going on on all these churches. When God leads me to, I'm calling you out and then I'll love on you afterwards. If you need a hug or a word of encouragement, it's all good. I do it all the time, but most times I'm not coming this hard, but I'm ticked off right now. Bust a move. Like, are you serious? Y'all think I'm lying? Listen to this. That sound like church? Does that sound like church? Really? Somebody probably walked in there. You never know what a person comes into church for. They could have been in the world forever. One thinking about Christ probably was blaspheming, speaking against Christ, and now they finally humble themselves and they're ready to come in and accept Christ. And they're looking for answers. They're looking for God. They're looking for the presence of God. And you talking about bust a move? Repent and go sit down somewhere. That's all I got to say. Oh, Glekrasha Ta! I love you. I forgive you. But you got a lot of blood on your hands. You got a lot of blood on your hands. If you've been doing this for a while and people have come in there and they did not find Christ. There's no anointing there. You can't do that. And then you on a worldwide web with that. Come on. The blood of Jesus against every evil work that's supposed to be going, that, that's that's taking place in the house of worship. Christ is coming back, boo. And guess what? He ain't coming back to die on no cross again. So continue to be out of order if you want to. It's your eternal life. It's your eternal life. My prayer is that you repent and get it together. And stop trolling other believers' pages looking for a reason or, or any little thing to try to come at them and attack them with the word that you know. You don't attack people. You don't come for them to try to stir up something. We are all parts in particular. We're supposed to be sharing the word with one another. We're supposed to be, our iron is supposed to be sharpening iron. Don't ever, because you got a church, you think you just harass somebody. When I toss them scriptures at you, I see you fell back. And this is not personal. Because let me tell you, the Holy Spirit was all over me. I'm hot and carrying on. I'm, I, I just put the sweater on, but I was hot for a minute. God, really? You want me to do this right now? <laughs> like, for real? <laughs> yes and amen. The gloves are off. Repent. 